welcome to another installment of FSD Fortnightly. If you're here looking for FSD Fortnite videos, that may not be the right place, but stick around anyway, you're gonna have fun. We're gonna jump into a few different topics again. You'll remember FaceTime, where we're gonna sit down with another FSD employee, learn a little bit something about them. We're gonna talk with our IIS TOSA team, and we're gonna introduce you to some new features in Nearpod and Google Photos. If you guys haven't been to the district lately, you'll need to check out our brand new mural celebrating the arts at the Fullerton School District. Take a look. All right, follow me. We're gonna go to my favorite department. Sorry, everyone else. Innovation and instructional support to meet our next guest. Welcome to IIS Innovation and Instructional Support, and I'm about to introduce you to Robo Ramirez, who is helping us out. Let's get to know him. I'm really excited to sit down with Robo Ramirez. I have known Robo for a long time. I mean, everybody knows the name Robo. It's like you don't even have to say his last name. But we're very thankful right now because Robo is subbing for Karen Vasquez, who is on maternity leave. Um, she is expecting a new baby girl, uh, Emma Naomi, on September 17th. So we will definitely keep you posted. But for right now, we're going to talk to Robo, learn a little bit something about him. Roboam is your first name. What's the origin behind that name? Well, I can thank my dad for that. He's the one that chose the name. Nice. And he chose it because his favorite actress growing up, that was the name of her son. Oh. He read it in the newspaper. He loved the name. Do so you remember the actress? I don't. Okay, I've you gotta find to out. That up. I gotta find <laughs> a out. A little yes. bit of homework. All right, how many years have you been working at FSD? I've been working six, going on my seventh year now. Wow. All right, you've been here for a long time. Where did you start at FSD? I started at Commonwealth Elementary for about a year and a half. I was the clerk, and then I got transferred over to Parks for three years, back to Commonwealth, All right. now working with you guys. All right, very cool. Um, so, so far, what have you liked about working with Innovation and Instructional Support? It is not easy to work in our department. There's 40 people, you're keeping track of a lot of stuff, and may I just say that you've done a great job. I haven't even really thought about the fact that, like, you are new to it, you're taking care of business. So, so far, what do you like it's about IAS? Great. It's been great, honestly. Um, everybody's been really friendly, Good. really easy going. I haven't felt any pressure at all. My boss, Jeremy, is really easy going, really chill, Very nice, true. friendly. And overall, I think what I enjoy the most is different from the school setting. In the office, it's a little more quiet, so I can actually focus. And what I've been taught, I've been able to kind of like get it done. Yeah, great. It's been, it's been nice, yeah. All right, so you've worked in both elementary and junior high. What's your favorite age group? Uh, age group, elementary. Yeah, they're fun. <laughs> for sure, yeah. Especially um, little ones, the kinders. Oh first, my gosh. They're great. That, that's the part that I miss about not being at the school, is like, it just would be fun to interact with the kids, for sure. For sure, yeah. Let's jump into two-ish minutes of tech. Follow me. We are out in the fort with our IAS TOSAs and I have Matt Manquich here with me to talk a little bit about Nearpod. And last week they met with Katie Dewey Hill from Nearpod and they wanted to keep you up to date on some of the new features in Nearpod. Matt, can you tell us about some of those fun features? So one of the best new features is the time to climb feature. Uh, it's a quick, easy way to gamify your kids Nearpod experience. There's lots of pre-built math and ELA games. You can build your own uh, games for whatever topic you want. And it's got a quick little reflection piece for the kids at the end of it. It's, it's awesome. We love time to climb. I also heard that they now you can now build a Nearpod lesson in Google Slides and start there. Is that right? Absolutely. Yes. You can take your pre-existing Google uh, Google Slide lessons. You can throw them into Nearpod. Nice. You can add some questions, some activities, some reflection pieces for your kids. If you've got PowerPoints, you can put those into Google Slides and then put those into Nearpod. So it's super accessible. All right. And Nearpod also has introduced a sub plans, so you can uh, create a Nearpod lesson and share it with your sub so that while you're out, your kids can still be engaged in learning and your sub will feel a little more prepared. So when you create a Nearpod lesson, you can create 
uh, basically a slide deck so you can put in your own content. You can link kids to photos, to uh, web clips. They have a 3D virtual reality, uh, pretty much anything you can think of, any sort of educational experience, Nearpod has it and they're constantly adding more. Then once you've got your content in there, they've got a variety of activities for the kids to do. Whether it be filling in the blanks, matching activities, uh, collaboration tools where they can do a Padlet type response where the classmates can see. You can hide kids' answers, you can show kids' answers, kids can be anonymous, um, there's polls, just so many things that you could have your kids do. You can set up Nearpods to um, be self-paced so they could do them for homework. You could also set it up so that you control the iPad and you control what your kids see. Tons of content options, tons of interactivity options. Nearpod really is your one-stop shopping when it comes to delivering content in your classroom. Um, thinking back at your time here at FSD, we are focusing this month on collaboration as, as one of our core values. Looking back in your time here, think of someone, just the first person that pops out in your mind about someone who has helped you to get to know your job better, help you feel comfortable here at FSD. Um, I can think of, I mean, different people have helped me along the way. Yep. Uh, when I first came in, uh, Yasmin Duque was at Commonwealth. She really She's helped me a lot, best. super friendly. That's right, amazing. she was at Commonwealth. Then um, going to parks, our principal, Sherry Dustin, yeah. who's now, I think, uh, retired, but um, she was very, very um, helpful in the sense of like making me feel at ease and comfortable That's with great. the job there. And then Trish Bailings, actually, she was uh, like my go-to person yes. for everything. It seemed like Trish has always spoken so yeah. highly of you, yep, for sure. Okay, now a little bit more about yourself. Yeah, I live in Buena Park. You have any here. siblings? I do, yes, I have... Uh, two brothers and a sister. I almost forgot how many I have. <laughs> <laughs> An older brother. I'm the second, uh, second oldest. All right. Then have a younger sister and a younger brother 10 years younger than me. What do you do for fun on the weekends? I or love in playing, any downtime, really? Yeah, I love playing basketball. That's my... All right. I mean, I love doing a lot of different things. I play the guitar. I like to sing and stuff. But basketball is like my go-to thing. If I'm like stressed or whatever, I like to go play basketball with my friends. So you said park. you like to sing. I think that's super cool. What's your like favorite music genre? Love Mexican music, yes. <laughs> but, like rancheras. That's probably like my favorite there. Ballads and ranchero music. All right. End of the day, you're sitting down relaxing. Do you binge watch anything on TV? Yeah, I may like get on YouTube and watch some highlights. I love sports, like yeah. basketball, baseball and all that. Who's your team? Who are I your love favorite the Lakers. Teams? All right. Lakers and Dodgers. All right, very cool. Okay, last meal. What would be the last meal that you could ever eat? I'm not, I'm not implying anything. I just want to know your favorite food. I'm I would eat donuts. Here. Yeah, yeah. Don't mess this um, up. <laughs> last meal. I mean, I love favorite food. I love Mexican food. All right. Uh, my favorite dish is made out of pork and green sauce. In Spanish, it's called trocitos de puerco and salsa verde. Oh my gosh, I've never even heard of this. Tell yeah. me more. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, pork chunks in uh, like a stew uh -huh. made in a green sauce. Very mm -hmm. tasty, very uh, amazing. Where do you go to eat this? Do you go to a place or do you like, does your family cook this on the regular? My favorite is my mom's obviously, but okay. yeah, you can have it at a restaurant. There's one downtown Anaheim. All right. I forget the name of it right now. But I this... need to know this. Yeah, I'll find out. All right, good, good. <laughs> we'll keep you posted, everyone. Yep. <laughs> I have loved sitting down with Robo, so the next time you call IAS for support, you will be hearing Robo's voice, not Karen's. She will be back with us soon, but for now, Robo will be the one to help you. Um, so don't think that you've called Commonwealth or Parks, because I know it can be confusing. But thank you so much for sitting with us, Robo. Um, this has been FSD FaceTime. Google Photos to all of your student iPads. So we know that capacity can be an issue sometimes on the student devices. So make sure that you're letting your students know that they can back up all of their photos, their videos to Google Photos. And because we have an EDU account with Google, they have unlimited storage in their Google Drive. So make sure you're utilizing that option. Also, if you're using an iPad Air or newer, or you're using an iPad Mini, uh, I believe two or newer, you do not need a QR code reader app anymore. So please free up the space, get rid of those QR code readers and just utilize the camera option. So you can open up the camera app on the iPad, hold up the camera like you're taking a picture to the QR code and it will automatically open up a website in Safari. So hopefully that's helpful to you and frees up some space on your iPad. 
Now we're gonna throw it over to Phil. <laughs> hey there, it's Phil. Every Tuesday, our Toasted team sends out a tip of the week that can hopefully help with technology integration, maybe lesson design, or possibly something that helps in your personal life. Now, the latest tip that I'm super excited about is that iMovie, for the first time, is offering green screen features. So now, you don't need to buy any apps or uh, buy any software that requires any kind of um, funds to green screen. It's all in iMovie, which your students have access to. So, give it a shot. Now, if you want support with that, we have a link here bit.ly forward slash fsdtosis. We would love to come out and do green screen with you or anything else to support you. So look for this link right here where you can find tutorials and resources or the booking link for Susan, Matt, or myself. Now this year we're also going to be coming out to your PLCs just to actively listen to what you have to say in terms of what your needs might be, uh, any kind of technology, uh, special conditions you might have or things you want to work on. We would love to collaborate with you. So look for us at your nearest PLC.